The OLTP is a new database engine component, fully integrated into SQL Server 2014. Relational database engine optimized for 30x better performance without having to rewrite entire application. Let's have a quick recap what we already have and why we need in-memory databases. When we create a database, what happens actually? Physically, it creates two types of files on hard drive, at least one MDF and one transaction log file. MDF or NDF contains user data in the form of 8K pages. The data page is a simple boundary of 8 kilobytes of space, while transaction log records sequentially all transactions and the database modifications that are made by each transaction. To satisfy a query, processor can't work directly with data on hard drive, so a data page is copied from hard drive to memory in data buffer cache and from here processor can work on required data. On data modification, a data page is marked dirty. So SQL Server keeps its log in transaction log file and it will also write updated page back to hard drive. This behavior creates some serious performance issues in OLTP databases. Like if we need only one row, still we have to bring whole 8K page in memory. And normally a query needs hundreds of thousands of data pages to work with. Big I.O. between memory and hard disk is a top performance bottleneck for OLTP applications. Concurrency handling is another problem. Latches and locks make sure that only one user process can access a page in memory at a given time. And if more than one user needs same data, then they have to wait for their turn. And in that case, practically SQL Server is unable to take advantage of multi-core boxes. In SQL Server 2014, in-memory OLTP, other than regular data files group in transaction log files, we have a third type, memory optimized tables file group. Memory optimized table file group contains data and delta files. Data files are responsible to hold data in row fashion to user data durability, while delta files keep log of deleted rows. Any regular tables that are facing high latch contentions are considered best candidate to be memory optimized tables. On an instance startup, memory optimized tables are moved to memory where hash or range indexes are recreated. These tables and indexes reside in memory and are never paged out. In memory OLTP doesn't use the pages and extents for storing memory optimized tables data. Instead, if you use a special row structures and because of true multivariate optimistic concurrency control, no more locks, no more latches, and resultantly hundreds of thousands of concurrent users can access the same data without any delay. Additionally, the user can access disk based tables as well as memory optimized tables by using interrupt queries, so, no more major changes in existing code. To take full advantage of memory optimized tables, SQL Server 2014 provides new type of natively compiled stored procedures. These stored procedures are compiled to machine code via C code generator and Visual C compiler and are stored as DLLs. Pre-compiled stored procedures work only with memory optimized tables to give a 30x performance boost. And what about log for memory optimized tables? Yes, though very less log is generated by memory optimized tables, SQL Server 2014 still use log files to store changes information. 